What was your initial reaction when you heard that In the Heights was going to be made into a movie? And then secondly, your reaction when you found out you were going to be the lead in that movie? Well, I was like, yo, I hope I can get a part in that. That would be crazy. Like, that was literally, like, that would be crazy. Like, it felt so beyond anything that was possible, truly. And then, uh, and then when I got the call, I was like, yo, they really gave me this role. <laughs> like, I, you know, I was shocked. I, and I was happy. I was surprised. I was, you know, um, I was at my high school teacher's house in her backyard. Like when I got that call, she's like my Shakespeare teacher. You know, she helped me learn one of my first monologues uh, ever, you know. So um, so it was that was an extra added layer that was that made the moment uh, extra special. And of course, you've worked with Lin-Manuel Miranda previously. How has your relationship developed over the years? And was he with you every day on this film? I mean, our, our relationships develop over. The, yeah, I mean, we, we, man, we've worked together now. This is probably the fourth time. And, um, you know, Lynn, Lynn's just always been there, you know, like Lynn looks out for, for his people like Lynn, you know, Lynn is, is a genius. He's brilliant. I'm always learning from him. Like I've learned so much from him over the last few years. Um, you know, I've known, we've known each other now for like, I mean, it's gotta be, it's gotta be almost 10 years now, I mean, eight or something like that, but it's, it's been I've been just been blessed to work with him time and time again, because um, to work with someone like him, you just uh, it's impossible to not learn from somebody like I mean, conversations he has. He's having with the director on the side or he comes back, changes lyrics to something. He's like, yo, I was on the train and I was just thinking about this and I re- rewrote this on the train real quick. Comes to rehearsal. You're like, yo, it's like, you know, that that kind of brilliance is. Um, it's a gift to be around, you know, even one time. And the fact that, you know, I, I, I've been able to, you know, cultivate, we cultivate obviously a friendship. And then like, you know, it's like, I get to just, I get to be around this a lot and soak that in, you know, that's, that's something I don't take for granted. The opening number in the Heights is such an epic way to open a film. How was it to film with such a, huge ensemble for that number oh man i mean it was great i mean it was nerve-wracking i mean i was learning especially that this that last uh that last dance sequence at the end where i'm rapping and doing that fast choreography and the cameras the pant coming all the crane is coming down on me and landing on my face and i gotta hit the you know had to hit them i was so nervous so nervous i was over here practicing i got all the dancers over here all around everywhere I'm like, yo, I can't mess this up. Oh my gosh. Like, you know, so I think that opening number, that opening number was uh I was I was definitely nervous about it, but I was uh I think there was something about the nerves that that made it even more exciting and made it uh, you know, got the adrenaline pumping and got, you know, it was like, all right, let's kick it in the gear. It's almost like Dragon Ball Z, you turn Super Saiyan and you like you know, you gotta, you gotta uh, kick it up a notch. So, but it was really exciting. And then to watch the opening number um, and and just to see that shot of all of us dancing in the middle of the street and this camera just panning in, panning in, panning in, panning in, and like that flipping up and then the title comes and the birds fly by, and, you know, and the bridge is right there. I was like, yo, that's, it's like, that's what I'm talking about. It is amazing. Um, so now audiences have been waiting such a long time to see this movie. How excited are you for cinemas across the UK and Ireland to be playing in the Heights? I'm so excited. I'm so excited for people to sit in a theater and see the movie the, in the way that we intended people to watch it. You know, like like that's it was always in everyone's mind for people to see the film that way. You know, it's like. You know, th- this is a musical. There's these massive dance numbers. Are you going to watch this on a TV at home? I mean, you can, but it's like, if you can do it safely, I'm like, yo, go to the f- movies. You have to, this is an event. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this is an event. Take the, p- the person you love, you go on a date, whatever you want to do. You take your friends, take your family. Like, this is an event. This is a thing uh, uh, to, to see in the theater. And, uh, you know, and I think it's, it's, you know, there's nothing like going to the theater where, you know, you, everybody's laughing at the same time. Everybody's crying at the same time. Right. You feel the energy and the vibration um, uh, of this piece that, you know, in, 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 uh, in a movie theater, like like 
like no other place. So so I'm 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 like everybody, get out there, please go to the theater and see it. Yeah, I'm excited, especially you know, for 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 it to to be around the world, you know. You're so right. I'm definitely going to be going back to see it again at the cinema. Oh. Thank you so much, Anthony Ramos. All right, take care, Kate. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you 